Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of wishes to the President of the United Arab Emirates. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Said Al Nayan, in which he expressed his sincere congratulations to His Highness on the occasion of the new year 2018, Year of Zayed. His Majesty the King wished the UAE President continued health and to the UAE people further prosperity under the leadership of His Highness. His Majesty the King paid tribute to the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan and his great efforts for the UAE development and the progress of its people. His Majesty also hailed the role of the late in consolidating and strengthening the historical relations that bind the two brotherly countries and its progress in all fields. His Majesty affirmed that the leadership and the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain will continue to remember with pride his honourable attitudes towards them. His Majesty said that the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan is a symbol of wisdom and generosity, not only in the UAE, but also the region and also the Arab and international levels, and that his positions and initiatives continue to, see, to continue to be seen as a modern leader, appreciated by all people and countries in the region and the world. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with the leaders of the Arab, Islamic and friendly countries on the advent of the new year 2018. His Majesty the King expressed congratulations and wishes of abundant health and happiness for the leaders and their people and continued development and prosperity for the countries, voicing hope for the new year to be a year of peace and prosperity for all world countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the President of Sudan, Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir, marking the country's National Day. His Majesty the King wished the Sudanese President continued health. His Royal Highness the Deputy King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has directed the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications to implement the development and modernisation project of Air Navigation and Landing Systems, ILS, in the Bahrain International Airport, according to the latest international technology in the field of CAT3, to provide accurate and efficient air navigation services to ensure the continued flow of air traffic at the airport. On the occasion, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed stressed that according to this directive, the project will be completed by the end of the year 2018 to contribute to the comprehensive development march of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in developing and maintaining the Kingdom's outstanding position in this vital sector. He added that the project will significantly develop the navigation and landing services in the Kingdom, which will allow the landing of planes in poor visibility and will decrease the cases of diversion of flights in poor weather conditions to neighbouring airports resulting in airline losses and delays for passengers. His Royal Highness the Pr Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries on the advent of the new year 2018. His Royal Highness wished abundant health and happiness for the leaders and their people and continued development and prosperity for their countries voicing hope for the new year to be a year of peace and prosperity for all world countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable to President of Sudan, Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir, on the occasion of his country's National Day. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished the Sudanese President continued health and for the people of Sudan of further progress. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent similar cables to the first Vice President, General Bakri Hassan Saleh and Vice President Hassabu Mohammed Abdurrahman. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Debia Palace a number of officials, journalists, media figures, business people, intellectuals, and citizens, where he discussed with them regional and international affairs. His Royal Highness expressed optimism in the future, wished the Kingdom and the region prosperity and the leaders of the region's success in achieving unity for the prosperity of the region and its people. During the meeting, the Prime Minister urged to focus on economic development, noting the government's keenness on supporting the private sector as a main component of comprehensive development in the Kingdom. 
His Royal Highness expressed the keenness of developing the economic sector by preparing an organisational and legislative environment that guarantees the flourishment of the national economy. He continued by expressing confidence in the stability of the Berean Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, to fulfil its responsibilities in support of development efforts. The Premier expressed thanks and appreciation to the role of the merchants and business people of Bahrain, wishing them success in their future. He hailed the role of the BCCI, which has contributed to the leading the commercial and industrial movements. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the pioneering intellectuals of Bahrain who have enlightened society, praising the role of the media figures and journalists in voicing the opinions of society. The Premier wished for a year of prosperity and peace to Bahrain and its people under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. For their part, the attendees expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his efforts in developing the kingdom and his keenness on listening to the hopes and aspirations of the people. ما يجاريكم يا بن سلمان بالإنجاز قايد من مسكت زمامها والدار في يمناك تنعم هي عروس وأنت بمجادك ملبسها قلايد فكرك المبدع وحبك للوطن هذا تترجم في فعول حققت له للوطن خير الفوايد نهضتك في الشعب كيف يعيش وشلون يتعلم 
عندك العمران في الانسان من قبل الحدايد بارك الله نهضتك في الشعب كيف يعيش وشلون يتعلم عندك العمران في الانسان من قبل الحدايد انت للبحرين عز وانت للمعتاز بلسم وانت في التاريخ سيره ذكرها بالطيب زايد وانت للبحرين غير وخل كل هالكون يفهم انت والد وانت عم وانت رمز وانت رايد انت صمام الامان لهالوطن والله يعلم كم حفظت الدار واهل الدار يوم الوضع كايد بارك الله فيك انت صمام الامان لهالوطن والله يعلم كم حفظت الدار واهل الدار يوم الوضع كايد ابتسم يا ابو علي خلي الوطن معك يتبسم بارك الله فيك ابتسم يا ابو علي بارك الله فيك خلي الوطن معك يتبسم حبك بشعبك فريد وما مثل حبك فرايد ان بدينا بالمحرق قلبها فيكم متيم للمنامه والرفاع قلوب فيها الحب وايد لو تلف لو تلف الارض باسمك رددت انعم واكرم واهتفت في صوت واحد بيت يغني عن قصايد شوف كل قايد بهذا الكون له ديره ويحكم ما يجاريكم يا بن سلمان بالانجاز قايد شوف كل قايد بهذا الكون له ديره ويحكم ما يجاريكم يا بن سلمان بالانجاز قايد بارك الله فيك بارك الله فيك His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders and Crown Princes of Arab and Islamic and friendly countries for the advent of the new year 2018. His Royal Highness wished abundant health and happiness for the leaders and their people and continued development and prosperity for the countries, voicing hope that the new year be a year of peace and prosperity for all world countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable to the President of Sudan, Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir, marking the country's national day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the Sudanese President continued health and for the people of Sudan a further progress. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent similar cables to the First Vice President, General Bakri Hassan Saleh, and Vice President Hassabu Mohamed Abdul Rahman. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed appreciation for the cooperation of the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Al Rahmahi, and the speedy completion of the administrative and technical procedures that were concerned the bodies to broadcast the national team's football match with the Omani team, which is part of the semi-finals of the Gulf Cup on Bahrain TV Sports Channel. His Highness Sheikh Nasser's incentive to broadcast the match is part of His Highness's initiatives to support the national team during the Gulf Cup and to provide the Bahraini audience with an additional opportunity to watch the match on the sports channel. The year 2017 witnessed the continuous efforts of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities and Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in support of youth and sports in the Kingdom, through launching numerous leading initiatives at athletic, cultural, scientific and humanitarian levels, which are in line with the vision of the wise leadership in supporting youth and sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid strived to achieve the aspirations of the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to contribute to sustainable development in various vital sectors. The results of such initiatives were in line with the strategic plan of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which aimed to achieve the goals of His Majesty the King's reform project of enabling the youth and supporting the Bahraini sports movement to make more achievements in global events which would promote the name of the kingdom around the world. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, 
of allocating 4,800 residential units in various Kingdom governments, the Ministry of Housing announced the commencement of the distribution of 509 block project of Citra to eligible citizens. The Ministry said that the distribution programme reflects the support of His Majesty the King and the Government for the housing sector and His Majesty's keenness on the speedy distribution of housing units to beneficiaries. The Ministry added that the project is one of the main projects in the programme of implementing 25,000 housing units, stating that the continuity of distributing the projects listed in the Government Work Programme affirms that the Ministry is on track to fulfil its commitment to the programme. The Ministry stated that the distribution of the 609 block project in Citra will continue for two consecutive weeks, emphasising its keenness on devoting all its energies to implement His Royal Highness's directives.